by Wiz Kids, Marquee Mark, so was their podcast, Rhode Island Comic Con 2019. Uh, I'm walking up and down Artist Alley like I usually do, and I've come across something that blew my mind, and uh, I'm not even going to bother trying to explain it to you, but let me just interview the gentleman behind something that's amazing that I've never seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rob Shields. Rob, how are you doing today, man? Good. How are you doing? Good, 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 good. Now, your book... Just visually on its own, it stands out. It just struck me, it drew me right over to the table because of the visuals. Explain a little bit about what it is that you're trying to accomplish with this comic book. So Neon Wasteland is the world's first smart comic. It's a comic book and a cartoon and a video game all in one. So basically what happens is there's an augmented reality app that you can download. And when you use it to read the book, you can see that there's this whole hidden layer on the digital realm. So it's animated. It's gamified. There's uh, ways that you can talk to characters in the book. You can unlock alternate endings. You can find hidden pages. There's actually a video game inside the book that you can play. Uh, and it just makes it so that there's this whole other story that's happening under the surface of the mm -hmm. printed book. And the story itself, um, it works as like its own story, right? Like you can just buy the book and read the book for its own without having all the bells and whistles. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. I designed it so that you can read it as a traditional comic book if you don't want to use your phone and you don't want to be having to be stuck using your phone. Uh, but if you do use the phone, then you sort of unlock these sort of uh, hints that show what the future of the book's going to be. And it kind of works with the storyline because the storyline's about a world where there's a digital realm and a physical realm, and those kind of interact. And um, it just gives you a little bit more of a look into the universe. Wow. Now, how long did it take you to come up with this concept? And was this something that you've been, uh, did you have like a eureka moment when you realized you can blend all of these elements together? Um, it was kind of, I started building a video game and then I found out that I could sort of use this same technology to work with the comic book. And I'd seen other people doing it, like I think Marvel has done stuff before, mm -hmm. but they didn't really, it was like sort of a gimmicky after effect. Yep. And for me, like this is built from the ground up to use the augmented reality and it's built into the storyline. So there are like plot elements that it deals with. The reader is an essential part of the storyline. And as it goes on, they're going to have even more involvement where the characters in the book will know that you're reading the book. So it's very like meta and it has like so many opportunities to just break the fourth wall and make the comic medium something completely different than what it's been in the past. That's amazing. So if a person buys the book, uh, just as a regular comic book, and they wanted to experience everything else that comes with it, what would they have to do for that? So the app is totally free. You can download it. It's on the Play Store and the App Store. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. So if you purchase the book, um, you, again, you can read it by itself. Or if you want to experience the AR, you just need a smartphone, and you can just download the app for, totally for free. Awesome. Um, now, Rob, if people wanted to follow you, if they wanted to find you and get their hands on this, what I'm telling you right now, a visually amazing book, where can they find you at? You can go on neonwastelandgame.com and it'll tell you all about the book and all my social links so you can find all that stuff. Awesome, Rob. What you're doing is amazing and I absolutely love it, man. Good luck with the book. Thank you so much. It was great talking to you. And some of it's actually interactive too, so you can sort of change her mask. And on this one, you can push out her face. Um, the whole comic book over here. Every page of the comic book is animated. Um, there's also elements of choice that you can make. So like in this scene, the character gets shot. So that's the standard choice is shooting her with a blue bullet and she dies. But you can rewind time, bring her back to life. And then if you find the hidden pieces of the red bullet, you get an alternate ending. Um, this is a map of the city. This is how. It's also a model of the city. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, one of the characters drives a DeLorean, so if you look at the car inside the app, you can see it's DeLorean. Uh, even the shirts are AR, so... See, all my prints are like that, too. Everything's all fancy.